Good Thursday morning. It's September 2nd, 2021. I'm Guy McPherson of Nature Bats Last. You can find Nature Bats Last at GuyMcPherson.com. This science update follows directly from last week's science update. Each of them includes only a single link that's to a non-peer-reviewed article, an article from the corporate media. In both cases, the article does a great job of pointing to, via links, the peer-reviewed evidence that is being used to support the paper's views. So, this paper comes to us from Vox, published August 12th, 2021. It follows directly from last week's science update. Here's the headline. Climate change worsens extreme weather. A revolution in attribution science proved it. Here's the lead. From heat waves Sorry, this is the subhead. From heat waves to deadly floods, scientists can now calculate how much humans have made disasters worse. So that's the field of attribution science, is attributing some cause to various factors, in this case to humanity as a whole. I'm going to quote directly from this paper in Vox. In the latest report by the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC, says, and they quote here, on a case-by-case -case basis, scientists can now quantify the contribution of human influences to the magnitude and probability of many extreme events. This is quite an advance in attribution science in the eight years that have transpired since the last IPCC's general assessment report came out. So this is a pretty big deal indicating an advance in science and the IPCC taking advantage. As with last week's science update, this article in Vox reaches a fairly stunning conclusion. Quote, the revolution in attribution research highlights that climate change is not just a problem for the future, it's being felt right now. That's a stunning conclusion from this kind of outlet as was indicated last week with the science update as well. I'll continue to read the, some of the highlights from this paper in Vox. The new IPCC report dedicates a whole chapter just to attributing elements of extreme weather to humanity's actions. So that's quite an improvement over the report from eight years ago, AR5. Some of the findings on how human influence is playing out right now, according to this paper in Vox, it is virtually certain that the frequency and intensity of heat waves has shot up globally since the 1950s due to greenhouse gas emissions from burning fossil fuels. So this is no particular surprise, especially for viewers on this channel, but it's an amazing attribution of blame by the IPCC and following their lead, also by Vox. The latest report says there is high confidence that tropical cyclones such as hurricanes, are dishing out more rainfall due to climate change. This is no particular surprise. We've known since the 70s that a warmer Earth is a wetter Earth, and what goes up must come down, obviously. There's medium confidence that warming is leading to less water availability over most land areas as it increases evaporation. So some places are getting wetter, some places are getting drier. And in the interior of terrestrial areas, that's where the drying is really being evident at this point, is really being demonstrated at this point. Finally, fire weather conditions, you've probably noticed some of those yourself, hot, dry, and windy have become more probable in some regions, scientists can say with medium confidence. Medium confidence? Really? I can say with exceptionally high confidence that the world's on fire, but apparently the IPCC and these attribution means and methods have not come as far as we would imagine. Some scientists have taken the research further, meaning the attribution science, further by calculating the degree of human influence in specific events, often soon after they occur. The World Weather Attribution Initiative, keep track of that, I think it's going to be increasingly important in the weeks and months ahead. The World Weather Attribution Initiative. An international research consortium founded in 2004 examined the June 2021 heat wave 
in the Pacific Northwest of North America. Within a week after that heat wave ended, they concluded that the searing heat of the region was, quote, virtually impossible without human-caused climate change. So again, the science of attribution has come a long way and is really pointing fingers right back at us. Most of us. The WWA team, that's the World Weather Attribution Team, is included in the first example of how scientists have traced the influence of climate change and extreme weather over the past few years. The WWA team looked at Australia's massive bushfires in 2020 and found the likelihood of the severe heat, dryness, and winds that fueled the blazes has increased by at least 30%. 30% is a big deal in the biological world and also in the physical world. That's a tremendous increase in probability. The June 2020 heat wave in Siberia, in which temperatures north of the Arctic Circle topped 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius, was almost impossible without climate change. Yes, I would say so. Since 1900, a storm like 2019's tropical storm Amelda, which struck Texas with heavy floods, is now 1 in 1 1.6 to 2.6 times more likely and between 9 and 17% more intense. And those are big numbers when we're talking about an event such as a tropical storm. Another research team examined the 2017 record-breaking fire season in British Columbia. Not surprisingly, they found that climate change increased the likelihood of fire conditions two to four-fold and expanded the burned area between 7 and 11 fold. Those are big numbers, roughly 10 times the area burned. That's astonishing. And finally, in terms of examples, warming since 1980 increased the record rainfall of 2017's Hurricane Harvey by about 20%. Again, that comes as no surprise to most viewers of this channel. The paper goes on, extreme weather attribution could also play a role in lawsuits. <laughs> oh, so now we get to the point. Here in the United States of litigation, it's all about lawsuits. There's already a wave of climate change litigation in the US, U.S. and several other countries, according to the paper in Vox. But it doesn't take a judge to rule on what the science now clearly shows. When it comes to climate change and the ensuing turmoil, humanity is guilty as hell. That's a nice bottom line. I mean, it's not a nice bottom line, but it's a great way to express the conclusion so far from attribution science and where it points to when it comes to climate change. Thanks for staying tuned. Bear in mind that you can like or dislike. You can subscribe to this channel and you can even become a member for additional perks. We'll try to crank out another one of these within about a week.